It is Tuesday, August 9th, 2022. The Boiler Breakdown Podcast is back at it again with, I think, our fourth edition of a trivia show, but this time it's just Purdue football. There's going to be no Purdue basketball in the trivia show tonight. But we're looking forward to this. Got the uh, three guys of the Boiler Breakdown together for the first time since, I think, March or April. Myself, Tanner Lee, along with Andrew Eiler and Evan Webb. Great to see you guys again. And we got a special guest tonight, the host of the Full Steam Ahead podcast, Adam Bartels. Adam, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks, guys. I appreciate uh, you guys having me on for this uh, special episode. So this this should be fun. Um, Just don't you. embarrass us, Adam. We're gonna, you're going to whoop us. So <laughs> I don't know about that. I'm, I'm worried about the reverse. <laughs> Well, was, I think, it, was, it was our first trivia show, Andrew won, so the Butler grad beat the, the Purdue grad or something. Like yeah, that. yeah, <laughs> yeah. But there was one, my dad was the moderator, so I That's took right, yeah. I, I I actually participated and yeah, Andrew beat us all. So uh, this is gonna be a fun show. We got five different categories, five questions each. Each question's worth a point. So a perfect score would be twenty five points. If somebody gets twenty five points, I'll buy him something. I don't know what, but if somebody gets a perfect score, I'm going to be very impressed. Not saying it's impossible, but I'm, I'm, it would be pretty impressive. Drew Brees. Drew Brees. <laughs> I, I will say Drew Brees is not an answer to any of the questions. So there, there's, a, there's a spoiler for tonight. There goes like half my answers. Just say yes. well, <laughs> he's always a good guess. But, um, Reverse I psychology. Will, he's, a, he's an answer for every question. Yeah. There we go. I will let all the viewers and listeners – know that I did tip the guys off and told them to study mid-2000s to present. So. It didn't matter because I didn't study, so let's go. <laughs> <laughs> well, well, there we go. So, um, All right, let's get right into it, shall we? All right. Um, let's see, what category do I want to pull up first? What category do I want to pull up first? It's How about Jeopardy? We, <laughs> we don't well, get to pick. <laughs> well, I can let you pick, but there's no yeah, point fine. differential. But uh, first, we're going to go with a category, a new category on the game, called non-conference schedules. Oh, oh gosh. Non-conference schedules. Like I said, each question worth a point. So first question. Who did Purdue play on the road in the non-conference part of their schedule in 2005? Can we're writing these down. Can you say yeah. how many games we played? Um, I think we played. It was year eleven or twelve. I don't remember. No, I mean, how many non-conference games? Oh, um, yeah. Let me. I will. But only up. like one on the road, right? There was like, only one on the road. Yeah. So there's not like multiple. Okay. You would have done 2003. Bowling <laughs> Green, Wake Forest, Notre Dame, and the fourth. But dang. All right, 2005? There was three non-conference games that year, Evan. Okay. Two at home, one on the road. I have an embarrassing guess here, I think. All my guesses are always embarrassing. Uh, I'll give you guys a couple more seconds. I've got my three. Oh, wait, there's three? No, there's only one. Oh, they they played one road, oh, road, road, game. One road like, non-conference geez, game. I can't read. <laughs> God bless America's hot start. Hot oh, start. wait a minute. Hold on. Yeah, I feel maybe I can have a better guess. I feel confident. Which means I'm going to get it way wrong. No, I'm good now. All right. Everybody ready? Idiot. Yeah. All right. Well, I'm going to go on a close-up. We'll start with Evan first. Let's see if I can get you on the solo layout so you can give us oh, your answer. I put at Arizona. At Arizona. I'll go with Andrew next. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. And to round it out, we'll go Adam. I think Evan's right, but I went Oregon. I think that was a couple years later. Well, the correct answer goes to Evan. Oh. September 17th, 2005, a 31-24 win at Arizona. Something funny is I, I put all three uh, non-conference games, completely forgetting that we played Notre Dame every single year. I know. I, I, had, I had Rice for a long time. Like, I know I we went to my, Rice, like, recent. Like, I was like, I think that was, like, Daryl Hazel, though. Didn't, like, who, were the other, Rice. You know, who, who were the other two games, Tanner? Notre Dame was the uh, home game, and let me look up who the season opener was. Because I definitely year. did not have Notre Dame. I feel like an idiot. Akron. 
I put Probably Syracuse. Michigan schools. Yeah. Central it Michigan, was... Akron. It was Akron. Oh, wow. Then uh, at Arizona. Didn't, didn't Purdue lose to Akron? No. No, they, they beat it. Green. That was they lost to Bowling Purdue Green. was ranked yeah. 12th going into Arizona, 12th in the country. And then the wheels fell off at Minnesota, Notre Dame at home. The team ended up going 5-7 and seven and missing the bowl. Wow. Tiller's first bowl he missed. Lovely. All right. Well, uh, Evan's off to a start, a hot start I'll here. I'll see you guys later. I'm um, checking out. So. Commanding one only. lead. <laughs> All right. Next non-conference question. Who did Purdue play in overtime in the non-conference portion of their schedule in 2006? I had a gut answer, but I don't think this is right. And if people are watching, um, feel free to post your comments. You can play right along. Just we can't look at the comment section. Correct. <laughs> Don't cheat. I'm on the private chat section. I don't like my answer. I was really yeah. confident at first, and now I don't like it. I'm good to go. So if you ever, if ever yeah, I'm ready. Already. All right. Well, we will start with Andrew this time. Hawaii. Hawaii. Adam. Notre Dame. Notre Dame. And Evan. I put Oregon. Oregon. And we do have a comment. Let's see what the comment said. Ray Davis was the big winner here watching on Facebook. Miami, Ohio. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> I, didn't, yes. I did not know that Purdue played Miami, Ohio. Could not it remember that. It was the first yeah. overtime game in Ross State Stadium history. In 2006. Wow. Yep, 38-31 overtime win against Miami, Ohio. First overtime in history? For in history. State? In history. Is that what she said? Yep. Jeez. That's wild. Yep. That would have been, what, yep. two years post Big Ben, right? We just missed playing Big Ben, right? He, right, right. Was, was Hep the coach? Or he already, he already went to Indiana, didn't he? He was at Indiana. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't think that Miami, Ohio team was even very good. <laughs> I, I couldn't have told you much about Miami, Ohio, other than outside of Big Ben, so. Yeah. Good hockey Miami school. Ohio football. Yeah. No, Oxford, Ohio Oxford, football, yeah. Oxford yeah. Ohio, I believe. Yep. Yep. Um, all Miami right. Oxford, Next Oxford. question for the non-conference section. Who did Purdue play on the road in the non-conference in 2007? Okay, so it wasn't Notre Dame. Seven. <laughs> <laughs> This is like like when like my memories like really starting to get better at pretty football, but I can't think of a single school. <laughs> non conference. Yeah, non conference is not memorable for me. No, uh, no, it's it's pretty tricky stuff. Uh, because it's usually Central Michigan, Akron, Bowling Green, oh, West Western gotta, Kentucky. I've got a guess, but I might be a year off. You guys are ready? Let me know. I'm good. Ready. I'm good. Sure. All right. We will start with Adam this time. I'm going back to Oregon. I know they played Oregon sometime Oregon. during that time. God. I think. Oh, <laughs> son of a gun. Evan next. I, well, I had Oregon my last answer, but it's not. I put Toledo. I think I'm a year off on that, too. And Andrew. Oregon. Oregon. Put Oregon for several as well and then cross them off. Evan, go with your gut, man. Oh, my God. Go with your gut. Was this the game uh, where um, oh uh, Dustin Keller like ended a man's life? Yes, and oh, yeah. he did the uh, he got a taunting penalty for doing yeah. pointing at Purdue. Pete. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yep, I remember being nervous about this game. We're going to the Glass Bowl. Tiller's first game ever was against Toledo. There, we lost. This was opened up those seven season. We just pounced them. Yeah. Okay, so. all right. Yes. Like Ray Davis said another team in Ohio. He is right. <laughs> he is right. All right, Evans up two to zero to zero. Two more questions left in this category. Next question. Uh, 
Who did Purdue play on the road in a non-conference in 2009? <laughs> <laughs> I'm, feeling, I'm feeling pretty confident in this one. Just kidding, I'm not. Tanner, is it just one team or is it multiple? Just one. Okay. When you guys are ready, let me know. I'm good. I'm ready. Andrew, ready? Okay. Yeah. Evan, you are first again on this one. Going back to previous answer, quack, quack, and Oregon. Oregon? <laughs> Andrew. Oregon. <laughs> Adam. We're either all getting this right or all getting it wrong. <laughs> they play them at some point on the road. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's on the board. Oh, <laughs> Oregon. 38 36, heartbreaking loss at Oregon. Yeah. Absolutely heartbreaker. Mm-hmm. What was Ray, the score at halftime? Ray Davis says, Go Ducks. <laughs> Ray's uh, just whooping us. Uh, let's yeah, see. Ray's never invited to this because he's going to wipe the floor with everybody. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> well, let's see if I can find this. Well, Garrett, score. Garrett, he playing that game because he torched us when they played. In West Lafayette, right? Yeah, he torched here before he did not play because he punched a guy in the face the week before against Boise State and that, and got dude. suspended. LeGarrette Blunt. Oh yeah. Yeah. So let's they here, he, see he, here. He, he scored several touchdowns and had a couple hundred yards against us. It was seventeen seventeen at halftime. Oh, why do I feel like Purdue was in the end of the first quarter? Then that Purdue jumped off to a big lead. Uh, Purdue was outscored 10-7 first quarter, outscored them 10-7, and then Oregon was up a touchdown going into the fourth, but Purdue outscored Oregon 12-7 in the fourth. I vaguely remember sitting in your basement, Webby, and I thought that Purdue was up big. I think that was the home game. I don't game. know why. I think, I think when they played uh, it was the, the home game. game. The home, the home game the, when, uh, yeah, Corey Sheets broke off a big one on the first drive at home the year before. That could be it. Yeah, because I remember at Oregon, there was some funky stuff happened. I remember Joey Elliott dropped a snap for a touchdown because it bounced weird off the turf. And and, and I'm, I, have a, I have a crazy memory about this stuff. And I remember the, to our our scoring play was a Statue of Liberty to Keith Smith, yep. who was a former quarterback, threw it to Aaron Valentine. Then we that. went for two. Kyle Adams caught it but got pushed out of bounds before he could get a foot down. That's right. Yep. yep. I believe we were very upset. Yeah, I, was, I did not take that loss very well. <laughs> All right, last one for the non-conference category. Who did Purdue play on the road in the non-conference in 2011? This is my freshman year. Ah. This is your guys' wheelhouse now. Eh. Evan's got three out four right, so... I'm ready whenever. All right. I'm, I'm not ready yet. Uh, sure. I think I'm ready. I'm bl- I am completely blank on this. This is freaking freshman year. Well, Evan, you'll go last. I'll get to the other guys here. Hold on. Don't. Because I want them to influence my answer. Uh, oh, okay. Woo. That's true. Uh, fair. Fair, game. Fair, fair, game. fair Fair player. Um, God. Uh, <laughs> wow. I am completely drawn blank. Cue the game. Jeopardy music, somebody. No kidding. Um, I don't think any of us are getting it anyway, Evan. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna write something down here in a minute. Uh, I'm wrong. I'm okay. I've got an answer. All right, Andrew, Marshall, Marshall, oh. Adam. Arizona? I know they went back there at some point. I can't Arizona. remember what year. And I Evan. I put Central Michigan. That's not right, but I still don't have anything to think of. Well, Andrew guessed this team earlier. Damn Rice. It. Oh, that's right. I missed watching this game because I went to a concert. That's why I yeah. don't remember it. <laughs> Carson Wiggs uh, lined up for a game-winning field goal, and they got blocked. Yep, yep. First play of the game, Caleb Turbush overthrew a wide-open O.J. Ross. Wide open. Should have known it was going to be downhill from there. There was a couple of first play bad moments for Caleb Turbush in his. Was that Notre Dame? Was that was yeah. twenty eleven Notre Dame too? And yeah, two uh, weeks later game. after oh, that. Yeah, night game and he yep. airmailed the guy yeah, by like yeah. twenty yards. Yeah. Gabe Holmes down the sidelines. Yep. 
All right. So after the uh, non-conference round, the score is Evan three points, Andrew one point, Adam one point. So anybody's Ooh. game still. Anybody's game. Ray Davis at school in Texas. He is correct. <laughs> that was actually a home and home played in 1998 and then 2011. That was my first ever Purdue game. It was Drew Brees' first home start in 98. I don't remember anything about the game. But I think Purdue beat Rice by like single digits that day. So <laughs> don't play Rice for a while, please. Please. Well, I will get – I got another schedule category, but we'll get off the schedule category for right now. We're going to go to a fun one. Let's see how well you guys can identify – let's see here. Players' numbers for all over right, the years. Right. So you're going to see a picture of oh the boy. player, but their number is blacked out. Oh, you're going to have to I guess like their this. number. Yeah, I all like right. this. And I'll even tell you the player because it yeah. did not matter. Starting with – guy we just talked about, Gabe Holmes. What number did Crap. Gabe Holmes wear for the Boilermakers? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready. All right, we will start with Adam, and let me get the graphic down here. Adam says 84. Switch the market board. Hopefully this will bring me more luck. Evan? I put 81. 81. Andrew? 84. 84. Two 84s, one 81. Well, you're right in the 80s. 86. <laughs> and Gabe uh, bounced around a couple practice squads in the league. Don't think he's there. Ray Davis guessed 81 as well. So everybody was in yeah. the 80s. Everybody knew it was tight end number. Right on the same wavelength. I like it. It's a tight end number. Yeah, play it bodes well for me because he's been killing it. All right. Another guy I actually just mentioned. Carson Wiggs. I know that one. I think I know that one. I'm ready. Same. I hope I'm right. I hope I'm very confident. Because I'm so confident on this one. Andrew, are you ready? I'm ready. I'm not confident, but I'm ready. <laughs> All right. We'll start with Evan here. Put 37. Evan says 37. Andrew. 37. Okay. Maybe I was more confident than I thought. Adam. 37. 37. <clears throat> you guys know your Boilermaker kickers. Wow. Hey. Pulled that one out of nowhere. I thought, like, <laughs> well, I remember it was like such a weird number for. Kids. Yeah, I knew it was in the. I thought it was in the thirties. Yeah, well, like, like twenty three. He, he was a staple for a while too. And then, if you yeah. remember, Paul Griggs wore thirty seven right after him. <clears throat> so it was a Purdue kicker that. number for a long That's time. That's probably why, because okay. it was like a uh, like an eight year stretch. <laughs> yes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. Yeah, Ray Davis would have been on. Would have been right there with thirty seven. I think I think Ray's like seven for eight right now. I think he is. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go a little more recent. Jake Rapogel. Oh, Shut no. up. <laughs> oh, my God. He's a heck of, he was a heck of a player for three he years. Was good. Uh, Smartest of his brothers, too. Yes. Brother? Yeah. Brothers, brothers I think. Yeah, I thought so. I think it was multiple, too, that went to that school in the South. I want to say it was a weird number. Mm. Can you give me a hint and remind me what position he played? He was <laughs> defensive end. Yeah. Yeah. Or de-tackle de a little bit, actually, I think. I think both. Did he have were... a – did he get hurt his senior yeah. year? He did not play because Come of back. concussions. Yeah, that's what I thought. I thought he was supposed to be uh, starting. He was going to be – like, he was mocked to be a second or third round pick. Yeah, like, like a, one I thought like a top Big Ten defensive it, lineman. Guy guaranteed to get drafted. <laughs> what was that, Evan? Wasn't he like the one guy guaranteed to get drafted from that team? Yes. Yeah. It was so. not a good team in the under Hazel, but you yeah, can see that a, about a lot of his teams. I think didn't he dominate? Like he had a great like bucket game, and they're like, man, he's gonna be a stud next right. year. Right? Yeah. yeah. When you guys ready. are ready, let me know. I am ready. All right, I think we started with uh, Evan last time. So Andrew, ninety three. Ninety three. Adam, ninety six. Ninety six. Evan, I went way different. I did fifty three. Ooh. So close, Evan. 54. Because oh, no. <laughs> I was like, was it 54 like Erlacher at the time? I'm like, no, it can't be that. Dang it. Yeah, you when guys you are lucky Ray's weird not number. playing, unless Ray's cheating on Google or something. <laughs> Evan, when you said it's a weird number, I was like, ha, wrong. I was fairly confident. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right, we'll give you a redemption here with another D lineman. Ryan Russell. I, do, I think I do know. I do know. He, was he, was, he was in my grade, if I remember correctly. I, I don't feel any comp. I don't feel comp <laughs> anymore. <laughs> I remember because, like, thinking, like, seeing him on the field, like, wow, I'm the same age as that guy. This is not, this is very different. <laughs> <laughs> he could crush me. Yeah. Let me know when you guys are ready. I'm, I'm ready. I'm good. All right. Adam. 99. Evan. 99. Andrew. 92. Two out of three got it. 99. To be fair, I think he started his freshman year as a different number. I think. Well, can we fact check this then? I mean, am I wrong? <laughs> it was not 92. I can tell you it wasn't 92. <laughs> <laughs> did he come in as a different? Did he come in as a different position? I think he was ninety seven and went to ninety nine. No, he was always a D end. Okay. I think he was ninety seven and went to ninety nine, but I could be wrong. Ray on his last one said, "Great guess." And this one he went fifty six. Mm-hmm. All right, one more for this uh, category of uh, how well you know the numbers. Let's go with uh, big time player in the. Um, San Francisco Bowl. I can't think of the name. Was it the Red? No. The Red. What was uh, that? Uh, Foster Farms Bowl. Foster yeah, Farms Bowl. There we are. Gregory Phillips. Had a huge game that night. He did. I, I'm pretty confident in this. I think I like my answer. I think I like my answer. I think I do too. I'm going with my, my first instinct, and it doesn't feel great. Also, just that uniform combination with the chrome lids is perfect yeah i hope they wear those chrome lids again also what a great game yes that was fun wasn't the quarterback khalil tate wasn't that when Mm -hmm. he's yes he was and he's supposed to be like a heisman favorite the next year and he just disappeared yeah we're all good i think yep yep okay um i think we started with adam last time so start with evan point 80 oh Andrew. 14. Uh-oh. Adam. I think he was 10. Adam is right. Oh, wow. Dang. That is <laughs> zero, right? Another guy that switched numbers. He was he wore it in the 20s, I believe, as freshman oh, year. 21, maybe? Because that was yeah, my some... first thought. Then I was like, no, he was 10 in that bowl game. Yeah. Huh. I, I did not remember that. Wow, I was way off. Ray went with 26. Appreciate Ray for playing. He's just, making us, he's just making us feel better. Yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Yes. I'll get a couple wrong and make them not feel so bad. 96 <clears throat> for Gregory Phillips. After two rounds, Evan has the lead of five points. Adam right on his tail with four. Andrew oh. with two. Still anybody's ball game. We can keep Still the jersey number category going. I'll feel <laughs> <laughs> Well, let's go back to uh, some scheduling again, shall oh, we? Oh, who plays these... in the end? <laughs> what year? Who consistently <laughs> runs for 400 yards against Purdue for the last two decades. Insert Wisconsin running back. <laughs> <laughs> this is called season openers. Okay. Okay. Season openers. Central Michigan. Who did, who did, <laughs> who did Purdue play to start the 2011 oh, season? I was thinking about this. Liar. I was because it was a 2011 question. I was like, I was like, oh, I know who we started out with, and now I cannot think of. We were at this game, Evan. I know because it was like 95 degrees. <laughs> I was wearing jeans. You were wearing jeans. I'll never forget <laughs> that was your first Purdue game, your freshman year, and you wore jeans. It was like the hottest day in Ross State history. And people literally left a decent game because it was so hot. <laughs> Oh, I think I got my states mixed up, but I'm going to stick with it. Oh, Everybody God. ready? No. Um, Take your time. I, mm, I think I don't even like being in school, actually. Yeah, we're going to keep it. See, I'm forgetting who I started with last question. I don't think it matters. I'm, I'm good to go first. I don't care. Okay. I'm ready whenever you guys are ready. Go ahead. I'm ready. You guys ready? Yep. All right. Starting with Andrew. Northern Illinois. 
Adam. Right, I think you might be right. Uh, Central Michigan. Evan. Eastern Illinois. Ooh. Oh, that's right. They played them some points. No points for anybody. Middle Tennessee. Oh, wow. 27-24 win. Ricardo Allen blocked the potential game-tying yeah. kick. I knew it was a blue team, I think. <laughs> yes, they were like blue and gray or silver. Is Eastern Kentucky a team? That was my other guess. Was yes, like, they are. Okay. I couldn't remember if that was a team or not. Well, yes, you probably are. just ruined the next, next question, Evan. <laughs> <laughs> I've never played them. I was like, I knew it was a directional school. Just can't remember what state. We had a couple guesses here. We had the big time boiler on YouTube said Cincinnati. <laughs> and then he said completely, completely wrong. <laughs> and then uh, Ray, Ray did say Middle Tennessee. Said uh, nice. first game for me that year. All right. Uh, question two for season openers. Who did Purdue play to start the 2013 season? I'll give everybody a hint. This was the first game of the Daryl Hazel era. I was at this game. Spoiler, it didn't go well, to say that. <laughs> only only nine games did in four years. <laughs> Even some of those didn't go too well, and they just the happened to win. against Illinois. And then one like blowout against Nebraska that almost ended in disaster. You're correct. I know this because the next week they did. Well, I don't want to ruin a possible first set future question, but is there the any next... more schedule categories, Tanner? No, this is it for schedule. Was the next game tennis or uh, Indiana State? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, yeah. yeah that's for Ricardo perfect. Allen didn't pick it off in the red yeah, zone. We lose that lose. game. <laughs> and then we played well against Notre Dame the following week. Yeah. yeah. And then the rest of the season was awful. So I remember having hope after the Notre Dame game. I'm like, I like what I saw tonight, even in the loss. <laughs> yeah, was this the perfect. all eggs in one bat all eggs in that basket or is that the next year? <laughs> I, cannot this answer, I cannot answer okay. that question. Was the furnace established by this point? I I that question. All right, I'm ready. I don't I don't know. I don't know. I've I've crossed that about six, so all right, we will start with Adam. Wake Forest. Wake Forest. Evan. Big time bowler. I got it right. Cincinnati. Andrew. Cincinnati. Oh, you guys are right. No, I remember. It that. was at Cincinnati in a humiliating forty-two to seven loss. All eggs, all eggs in the bat in the Cincinnati basket. It was a uh, close game of half somehow. <laughs> That was I another also, hot one. I also kind of let the game like, okay, you know, we got some things to work on, but I think we're, I think we're in good hands, you know. We got to go in the right direction. Big time boiler was right there. Ray went with Indiana State, so he was off by a week. Off by game, yeah. It was the next week, yeah. Off by a week. Another Hazel season opener. Who did Purdue play to start the 2015 season? After, after like, year one, it always kind of blends <laughs> in together. It's horrible. It does. That's why it's hard. Yeah. It couldn't have been anybody good. I feel like Purdue didn't play anybody good because they just nobody wanted to play Purdue. You're not wrong. Let me know when you guys are ready. I'm good. Sure. I'm ready. Yeah, I'm writing it down. All right. Evan, lead us off. We played at Marshall. Andrew. Marshall. You can read that. Adam. Arizona. I know that's not right. <laughs> He's living and dying by the Arizona yeah. answer. It is at Marshall. This was the all eggs in the basket yeah. game, Andrew. Uh, this okay. is, yeah, first this play of the game. Also, after threw a pick six. First play of the season. Who <laughs> yep. threw it? Austin, Austin Appleby. Appleby. I remember I was with my now fiance's family, like we were watching because her fan, her part of them is, is a Purdue family. I remember like watching the TV, and that was the first play. And I was like trying to keep my composure. <laughs> I was just like, "Are you freaking kidding?" I was already not feeling well from a eventful night the night before, and this made me feel worse. Can I get a bonus point if I can tell you both jersey numbers? Austin Appleby one is Purdue two. I know, I know one of them. I believe. Yeah, I was at twelve. I knew twelve. Eight, eight right. I don't remember him wearing eight. I, I thought he was eight. twelve the whole time. Oh, he switched to eight. Or was it eight and but, twelve? Was it the Florida? Was he with? What was he with Florida? I think he was twelve at Florida. Yeah, I had a counting class with Applebee. Nice guy. 
Yeah, yeah, he was a good guy. We got a couple comments here on that one. Uh, we had uh, two Indiana State. So my at Marshall non-conference game in 05, I was only off by a decade. Only yeah. a decade. <laughs> so the Hazel years, just those are just gone. We, we have two more questions, then we are done with the scheduling portion of the game. Who did Purdue play to start the 2017 season? I gave you a hint for the Hazel era. I'll give you a hint here. This was the first game of the Jeff Brom era. It was, yes. I was off by year. Weren't you at this one too, Evan? I was. Let's see. I don't know why I thought that was 2016. I don't know. I don't know. I pretty thought... Oh, wait, wait. No, 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 no. You want me to give another hint, Tan? I could give a lot of hints. You could give a lot of hints, yeah. I was going to say where it was played, but... This was a neutral field game. Mm-hmm. Okay, then I'm good. Yeah. Oh. Neutral field in Indianapolis at Lucas Oil. Uh, <laughs> that was all I needed. Yeah. I'm ready. It's kind of Dan, a freebie or, uh, for everybody. Jack, was it Jackson? Anth- no, was, was it Danny or Jackson? Jackson Anthrop, big yeah. game. Lamar like, Jackson. A decade ago. Uh, Louisville. Louisville. Yep. Andrew says Louisville. Adam. Yep, Louisville and Lucas Oil. Evan. Louisville. Almost won that game. 35 28 loss to the defending Heisman Trophy. Lamar Winner LeBron then, Jackson. Uh, that Cardinals. was a game I would end like going like, dear God, just don't lose by sixty. And yep. then it was like, holy crap, we are in this game. And then, and then they came. Was it Ohio next? That Friday night game. Yes. Is that the yeah. next game. That's and what then, I had written down was Ohio, and then I was like, once it's a neutral. Like, oh, yeah. Then if you guys remember, we went down to Missouri and smoked Drew Locke yeah. and Missouri Tigers, yeah. and so, then yeah. the Michigan game was sold out for the first time in like <laughs> years. And yeah, Breeze gave there. them a fight. Yeah, yeah, yeah. that was. Yeah. That was the Tyler Trent game, fun. the Michigan game. Or not the Tyler Trent game, but the, when he first got recognized for camping yeah. out outside the Yeah, that's right. Yeah. Game. A couple guys say Louisville, and Adam's got a fan here. Hey, Go full awesome. steam ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I figured by the last name there was some connection there. some bias there. I'm not a fan of that. That, that um, Missouri game, um, is that the one that David Blau set the record for most passing yards? In that game? was the next year yeah. where he Blau. and Locke – we just both went nuts that night. We lost that um, game. Yeah, thanks to a ref- blown referee call yeah, of a Jared Ohio. Sparks touchdown. I remember yep. for the Ohio games. Remember, I was like, I was actually feeling good after the Louisville game, obviously. And then I was at a concert for the Ohio game, so I couldn't watch it. And I checked my phone like when there was a break, and I was like, just God, please, just like just be winning. And we were up by like two touchdowns. I was like, what the heck? Like, what is happening? That was so fun. I remember people leaving like, Purdue football's fun again. Yeah. <laughs> All I right. Mean, don't. I remember watching that because of my executive producer at the time was an Ohio grad. And so bragging rights that night. The last scheduling question for tonight's show, who did Purdue play to start the 2019 season? I'm off a year. I'm ready. Right, everybody I'm ready? ready? All right, we'll start with Adam. Northwestern? Northwestern. Evan. At Nevada. Andrew. I put Northwestern as well. That was 2018. Northwestern was 2018. It was, I was Nevada. Like, I knew- yeah, I knew it was Rondell's freshman year, and I was like, is that 18 or 19? And I didn't have a guess outside of Northwestern. So. Yeah, the Nevada game where Purdue was Why? Why? Just, just dominated that game, and I'm still bumfounded how, dumbfounded how they lost that game. Another so loss. Mean, part, of, part of it was like, what well, that was when Rondell fumbled a punt, right? He, or he muffed yeah, it. Yeah, he muffed two punts that night, yeah. and, and uh, fluky, some fluky plays. A walk-on kicker makes like the 60-yarder. It was just, Got a scholarship because of it. Yep. Yeah, it was just unbelievable. Yeah. Who, was down, who was their coach comments. at that point? It was uh, Nevada's coach. Didn't he have a connection with like the Colts? Uh, what was his name? Um, Didn't we lose three games by less than three? I think if Ray's referring to the 2017 season, I think he might be right. Big time boiler speaks for all of us here. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, no Ray, kidding. Yeah. Ray said Vandy. Vandy was uh, 20, 
No, it was the next week. It was the next it was week. The next week. Yeah, because yep. that was the uh, uh, homecoming, and I oh, no, it wasn't. I can't remember if it was homecoming, but it was the Tyler Trent dedication gate dedication that game. Okay, that's right. I remember Rondell when, had a crazy touchdown that game. When did he wear the astronaut? Was that Maryland that year? Yeah. Okay. yeah. When, everybody was already hurt by that time. We were playing yeah. with 100 freshmen. So. Xander Horvath was the star. Okay, after three rounds, we have two rounds left. After three rounds, Evans got nine points. Andrew and Adam both five. Oh, boy. So, the bow out. Right, we're going more to and Ray and, and Ray has 18. A lot. <laughs> more of a statistical category here. Oh, no. Leaders. We're going to call this leaders. Like the leader, leaders. Leaders and legends. And legends. <laughs> leaders, and legends. <laughs> leaders. leaders and legends conferences. Who was in each one? Couldn't tell you. Who led Purdue in receiving yards in 2008? Ooh. This was Joe Tiller's last year. The team went four and eight, if that helps you at all. Doesn't. I might. Mm. I'm ready. I'm ready. good. This is where the wheels fall off. I think we started with Adam last time, I believe. So starting with Evan. Keith Smith. Keith Smith. Andrew. Dustin Keller. Dustin Ooh. Keller. Adam. Dorian Bryant. Dorian Bryant. All good guesses. Dorian and and Dustin both graduated the year before. Keith Smith was on the team, but Greg, Greg Orton that year. Greg Orton was on the team. Greg Orton was number two in receiving yards. Desmond Tardy Desmond with eight hundred and seventy six yards. Surprise me when I looked this up last night, to be honest. Eight seventy-six. I thought it was gonna be Greg Orton, but uh, I had a, I did when Tanner. Uh, maybe I'll wait, but I did have a funny stat. I think it was like oh, like oh four that Purdue only had two receivers with more than two hundred yards, and one of them on like two hundred and twenty-six, <laughs> and then someone else had like twelve hundred yards. So, oh, well, Stubblefield would have been probably was, a twelve hundred yarder. Was no, Smith hurt in two thousand eight, Tan? What's that? Was Keith Smith? Was that the year he he got hurt and he couldn't play, or was he, or was that like that was, was twenty ten? Okay, I the second game of the year, and then he applied for sixth year in the NCA. Was it in their normal fashion now, where they give six years and seventh years and eighth years out to yeah. anybody? Um, he got denied, so. which was which was a bummer because two thousand nine he was an All Big Ten wide receiver. Hmm. Who led Purdue in rushing touchdowns in two thousand twelve? If you, if you remember, I Purdue kind of used a collection of running backs during this yeah. era, the Hope era. Running back by committee. Oh, I'm blanking on the other name. Adam, you have another fan on here. <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Thanks, guys. <laughs> Man, boy, the breakdown is no support tonight. No kidding. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> Oh, uh, my kids are great. That's awesome. And my wife, too, of course. <laughs> Andrew's still thinking, it looks like. I'm good. I've got it. It's a matter of, yeah. Okay, Andrew, we'll start with you. Ralph Bolden. Ralph Bolden. Ooh, I like that answer. Adam. That's what I went with, too. Ralph Bolden. Bolden. Rap. Evan. Put Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor. Jason Taylor. Well, Jason Taylor was graduated by that yep. time. Ralph Bolton was on the team. So was this guy that Ray guessed, Akeem Hunt. But Akeem Shavers? everybody's wrong. It was Akeem Shavers with six touchdowns. Wow. I could not, I forgot about Moster was on the team. I yeah. mean, there was a whole. I mean, I was, no, Moster was still wide receiver at that time. Okay. That tells you everything was, you need to know. I, I, I first thought it was Moster, but I was like, he was so poorly utilized that there's no way he led the team. Never, never, did he play running back? Ever? Hazel like, put him at running back. Hey, that's the one thing that he, he <laughs> did do right. He saw it. Yeah, he was, uh, <laughs> he he was the one that started this career, yeah. This one is actually not a leader's question, but it, it's still – It's a legend's question. It's, a, it's Well, that's debatable, <laughs> but uh, who scored Purdue's lone touchdown at Cincinnati oh, in 2013? <laughs> Was it a? Can you say it was a rushing or throwing? 
or passing touchdown. <laughs> it's probably a defense. I am giving no hints. Okay. <laughs> Evans asked for hints, and he's up by four points. Look at this. Yes, <laughs> yes kill the lead. Uh, oh, God. I couldn't even tell you who was. Oh. It, was a, it was a 1 in 11 team. It was very forgettable yeah. here. Oh, what's his name? Crap. Um, oh, I cannot think of his name. I'm ready. Hey, we got support from my girlfriend. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Thank you, Steph. Go, moderator. <laughs> Yes. Uh, uh, I'm just going to – because I can only put anything if I'm on that team right now. So, Actually, no, wait. Nope, I'm going to keep it. All right, starting with Adam. Robert Marv. Robert, Robert Marv. QB? Evan. Different QB, Rob Henry. Oh, Andrew. Akeem Hunt. All good guesses. All wrong. <laughs> <laughs> Rob Henry with a seven-yard wow. rushing touchdown. Yeah, I was halfway there with Rob. Yep. I, I graduated I, the year before. I forgot that Henry still played for Hazel. Yeah. That was not the only position he played that year. I believe he played, played safety, uh, a safety. little wide receiver in safety. Yeah. He played wide receiver under Hope one year a little bit too. Ray was right. He said at, at, at AQB. I A-Q-B. figured it was like I, I thought my if I had to guess a QB, I was going to say Appleby or something. I was like, yeah, it's like a QB. Sneak he got, like who did he get quarter. benched for? Was it Etling? Maybe it was it Appleby? Yep. Danny Etling. Yeah. Then Etling the next year got benched for Appleby. For then Appleby, Appleby got yeah. benched for Blau. It was just a rotation every year. And Etling and mm-hmm. Appleby went to the L- SEC powerhouses. Yes, they did. All right, so two more in this category. Who led Purdue in passing yards in 2017? So Jeff Brom's first year. Yep. Mm-hmm. It seems seems too easy, which is yeah. really messy. <laughs> yeah. Right. So I know who I know who started the first game, but I can't remember if he. I'm ready. I know who finished the season. <clears throat> All right, I got it. I'm good. Everybody ready? Yep. Evan. David Blau. Andrew. David Blau. Adam. Shoot, I hope they both got it wrong. I went with Sid (laughs) Blau. It was one of the two. (laughs) It was one of the two. Elijah started the season. You're right. Blau ended up taking over, broke his leg against Illinois. Right. Sindelar finished the season, so Elijah Sindelar in 2099. Oh, I forgot that Blau broke his leg. I forgot. Yeah. I guess I thought Blau started the year and then on a torn ACL. Sindelar went yeah. and got yeah. on fire. I, I knew that was the bowl game. I, I, forgot. Forgot. I completely forgot about the bowl mm-hmm. game. And, how and to be honest, it, was. it wasn't even very close. Blau was in the thousands. So yeah, yeah I forgot he broke his leg. Yep, Sindelar nasty played, uh, injury. Sindelar played the last what three and a half games. Yeah. With, yeah. With, with, I remember after that night, like we all knew he was like a little banged up, and then they're like, "Yeah, he had torn ACL." We're like, what? Because he he was the start for the Iowa game, right? Like yep. we like we needed to win that to have yeah. the at, the at Northwestern, um, which he even made his knee injury worse. It was a night game we lost, then we won at Iowa, then we beat Indiana, and then beat Arizona. He went nuts at towards the end. So, so one thing is and I was like, "Nah, it's too easy." Dang. One more question for this category, and then we have one category left, and then we'll wrap up the show. Who led Purdue in sacks last year in 2021? I just saw this stat yesterday, and I've already forgotten. Oh, oh I can't remember. I don't know his name. I'm going to go look at the comments while i uh, waiting here. Can I, was, is the last name okay? <laughs> Actually, actually, I think I got it. I think I got it. Ray Davis I, I, says, question for you guys. What player from Tippy Valley played for the Boilers? He used to hold high school scoring record at one time. Did he get a year? I have no idea. I have no idea. I know that's that's a rival high school of ours, Adam. Yeah. So okay. that's that's where that's coming from. I know I Tanner Andrews played baseball. You're right. He was a beast in high school. I don't know. I do not know that. Ray's going to teach us. I wrong so bad. Well, now you're making it seem like I, I, I can't even think about who you're thinking about, Evan. The only reason I know is because I, I happened to see it last night. 
That was the one stunning thing I did. Was I okay, looked so up it's like, hard to spell. You can't spell his last name. I and mean, everybody I'm thinking of is like pretty straightforward. <laughs> or it yeah, could be a first name, Andrew, that he can't spell. Name. I'm ready. I might be spelling does, spelling name. doesn't count, just if you can pronounce yeah, it. I can't spell worth anything. <laughs> I can. I just, I, if I get typing I too fast. Guess, Ray I, said I it was, know. Ray says 1979. That's cool. a little before my time. I, I have no idea. Like 20 years before you guys were born, right? <laughs> <laughs> Not quite 20, but early enough. Everybody ready? Yeah. All right. Uh, Andrew. Jalen Graham. I don't know. Like Jalen Graham. Good guess. Good guess. Which he's okay, by the way, everybody. Yeah. He, he was supposedly okay. got injured today, but they said he's all right. Okay, good. I see that. Adam. Uh, Lawrence. I don't think that's right. Lawrence Johnson. Yeah. Evan. Uh, Kyron Jenkins, I think is his name. Kydron. Ky- Hy- 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 Kydron Jenkins with five. George, Big George at four and a half. I knew it wasn't Carl Loftus. Yeah. I really thought, like, I could stump you guys because everybody could say, George, and then, oh, wait, that's too obvious. And... I just knew, I remembered his sack numbers were so low, which were deceiving, you know, for the draft. Because, because he got, like, double teamed. Or, or triple teamed, or he was held in every single play. Yeah. So after four rounds with one round remaining, the scoreboard looks like this. Evan, 11 points. Adam, six points. Andrew, five. I think I went 0 for 5 there. So Andrew's mathematically eliminated. But I thought I, I thought there were some bonus points opportunities. Yeah, show your kid. Well, this, is your, well, this is your first podcast as a yeah, that, new dad. That, that, that is right. That yeah. is right. All right. I had so fun earlier with the numbers question. Oh. thought we'd kind of go back to that, but this time I give you the number. You got to tell me who that player is that's wearing that number. We have like a, we have like a year that they played or – you, I think you'll be able to tell by the pictures. I mean, oh, sweet, you know, yeah. um, and Ray says his answer answer was Tim. Uh, Aspa. Aspa? <laughs> yeah. Um, that, I, that, that, I did dead, not know that. Man. He probably did. All right. We will start off with this player. Uh, tell me who that is. I will give you a hint. This player wore a jersey, a different jersey number before this number. Oh, what? He started his Purdue career as a different number and switched to this number that he's wearing right in this yeah, photo. I'm sticking with my, I'm sticking with my gut. Yeah. Okay. Don't do that again. Okay. okay. Trying to trick us now, make us second guess ourselves. Yeah. Okay. Now the stickers are throwing me off. Do we have hell stickers still? I don't think we did. Oh wow. Yep, go on my gut. Go on my gut. I'm just, okay. Yeah. Everybody ready? Yeah. All right, go. Adam, we will start with you. I think it's my boy, David Blau. Evan. Oh. David Blau, my boy, too. Andrew. I had Blau, but I switched to Etling. Oh. Etling wore five. David Damn. Blau. What God. number did he wear before? Ten. Oh. That's what do you wear to the know. Lions? Oh, okay. Did All I right. Wear one of those jerseys? I know he was five, and I remember those ones before those. Yeah, Edling was five. Um, they had these. They had these jerseys, these fly wires, for a while. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay. So they were not the greatest looking jerseys. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, and the jerseys help kind of give these away too. What era yeah. they played in, I guess. So next guy. Big fan of those jerseys. Those are the black pants. I got one back here. It looks, like, it looks like a face mask penalty there. Yeah, I'll get <laughs> I noticed. I'm called. Also, a fraction of because those gloves that the defender's wearing, it's very simple. I'm pretty sure I, had, I wore those same type of gloves <laughs> in like eighth grade football. And you look at the gloves now and just how ridiculous they are. <laughs> Everybody ready? Yep. yep. All right. Starting with Mr. Evan Webb. But Ralph Bolden. Ralph Bolden. Andrew. Joey Harris. Joey Harris. Adam. I forgot about those two guys, but I think it's Greg Gordon. Oh, uh, crap. That's a good guess. Yeah. Adam's on the board there. Greg Gordon. Ralph Bolden was 23. Joey Harris, 25. 25, yeah. Didn't Joey Harris wear three? Oh, that's Macho Lowe, sir. 
Yep. Yeah, Montrelo. Uh, this is Greg Orton. Correct my mistakes. Greg Orton. Yep. All like right. Greg again. Couple more guys here. Uh, let's see. We had a comment there. Ray Davis guessed Bailey. He was twenty-one. He was. Marcus was twenty-one. Oh, Marcus Bailey. Um, let's see here. Next guy. Oh, I think I know it. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh, crap. Evan, I'm sneaking up on you. You got to get Yeah, he is. I know the last name, and I cannot think of. Oh, I think I, I can't remember the, the first name. What is this first name? I'm, I'm fairly confident that's what I should say. Do we get half points if we get half the name right? <laughs> nope. Oh, what's his first name? <clears throat> I'm being a uh, I'm being a stickler on the rules. Go know, all or nothing. Yeah, yeah I get it. Oh. Especially in kind of a tight tight game yep, here. Yep, yep, yep. Um, Do I get some leeway, Tanner? <laughs> <laughs> you sure, Andrew? I'll give you what's some leeway. His first name. <laughs> oh my god, this is going to make me so mad. <laughs> 10 seconds, Evan. 10 seconds. <sighs> Got anything? No, I don't. I have a last name, but yeah. All right, we will start with uh, Andrew. Brandon Jones. Adam. Brandon Jones. Evan. Jones. <laughs> <laughs> it was Peru, Indiana's own Brandon Jones. Yeah. I kept thinking Andrew Jones. That was my problem. I was like the baseball. I thought you were going to go Ben Jones, the kicker. No, oh. I could not. I only knew it was like that's a big running back. Yep. This is yeah, interesting. Max, I was like, he's from it's getting Peru. tight. Like, he's from where we're from. Getting tight. Ran over all the modern high school. Ray Davis said maybe Knox. DJ Knox, good guess, but a little before his time. Mm-hmm. All right, next player. Two left. Got it. I think I know this one. Well, Evan was very confident in this. Shoot. But, <laughs> I think we had to go. Reverse 5005 for me to tell you. Shoot. Everybody got it? I think I got it. I mean, I may have yeah. that, I don't know. Andrew, you good? Yeah. Okay. Adam. Anthony Spencer. Evan. Anthony Spencer. Andrew. Gilbert Gardner. Oh, I like that answer. Gilbert Gardner. Number 13. It was Anthony Spencer. Did First change, round pick, Cowboys. Yeah, was he always forty? I just remember him being forty nine towards the end. I don't know if he wore a oh, number previous. Okay. Cliff Averill changed his number. That's right. Yep. And so did uh, Sean Phillips. Yep. yep. That's yeah. That's right. All right. So that was a point for Adam and a point for Evan. One left. Last question of the night. <laughs> I feel bad for number 30. It looks like they're of Illinois there. <laughs> a couple of Illinois. Also, those Illinois helmets are so bad. All their helmets are bad in Illinois. <laughs> they don't have a good helmet. No, they don't. It's good. It's orange, Tanner. That's why. Somebody on uh, YouTube here said Ray Edwards. That would have been 10. a good guess. Yes, Ray Edwards 10. 10, yeah. Ray. Everybody ready? Yep. Yep. All right, Evan. Let's uh, pull you up here. Keith Smith. Keith Smith. Andrew. Keith Smith. Adam. Keith Smith. Well, you all ended on a high note here. It was indeed (laughs) Keith Smith. It all matters. Oh, man. All right. Final tally of the night. Evan's the big winner with 14 points. Adam with 11. Andrew with 7. Wow. So, good job, fellas. That was fun. Yeah, I hope everybody enjoyed themselves. And uh, any any final thoughts, real quick, before we log off on uh, 
just Purdue football in general right now going into this year? Shut practice down. <laughs> Don't let anybody get hurt. Yeah. That's exciting. I mean, this is I mean, probably the most anticipated season since what? What was the what was? What I'd was say since '05. Yeah, I mean, there was like that whole like 2000 maybe 19, but then I I, I was yeah. kind of reminded because I was thinking that originally, but then I was like, we did come off getting absolutely, you know, destroyed by Auburn in the Music City Bowl, right? In 2018, so that kind of damped right. some. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. exciting. Yeah, I hope for 2019 before like all six of our captains got lost for this season. Yeah. <laughs> right. So it's uh, it should be fun. September first. It's only we're three weeks away on Thursday this week. To yeah. September first, eight o'clock, Fox national game, Penn State, good opponent. Should be fun. Should be fun. Get that one and and watch out. Yeah, blackout. Okay. Yep, should be fun. So Adam, tell everybody where they can uh, follow you and your show at. I appreciate it uh, on Twitter at Full Steam Pod. And, of course, all our uh, video, uh, audio interviews are available basically on all the major podcast platforms. Of course, this is uh, re- the Full Steam Ahead recorded out of the Fox 59 CBS 4 studios in Indianapolis. So all the video interviews are posted on our website uh, for anybody who wants to watch those on there as well. And if I could quickly drop a uh, plug for tomorrow's episode, got the one and only President Mitch Daniels coming on the pod oh, tomorrow. Nice. So. Excited awesome. about getting him doing a little bit of a retrospect, uh, retrospective uh, episode on his uh, decade-long tenure at Purdue. So I'm looking forward to that. Sounds like a can't-miss episode. Not that I miss any of yours, anyways. <laughs> I, I really enjoy your podcast. I appreciate, so. I appreciate all your guys' support. Yeah, you do a great job. Keep it up. Uh, thanks for joining us tonight. So we're definitely going to do more of these in the future. So uh, look for another invite coming your way. Uh, you can follow the Boiler Breakdown on Twitter and Instagram at Boiler Break Pod. You can also like us on Facebook and hit that subscribe button on YouTube and hit that notification bell so you get a notification every time we drop a new episode. So, uh, uh, any anything else, Andrew? Evan? Anything? Anything I'm forgetting? We're back. We're back. We're yeah. back. Uh, look look for a preview show coming up in uh, next couple weeks. Not sure on the date, but it'll be before before the kickoff. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure we're all except Tanner wearing the shop shirt. <laughs> so. I wore my shop t shirt to help you guys with your uh, sponsorship. <laughs> yes, yes, I should have. I just wore that Friday, or I would I would have been wearing it. So, uh, but thanks everybody for watching. Thanks everybody for uh, playing along. Thanks everybody for listening. Uh, boiler up, hammer down. Awesome. Boiler up. <laughs>